Oh, 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 it's freezing outside, you guys, but we are now in the warm, and we are here with a brand new Biggie unboxing. WWE Mattel Creations. It's a mystery, man. It's a mystery to you. It's a mystery to me, and it's going to be solved today in today's video. We're going to unbox it. We are going to unveil it. One thing I can guarantee you guys is that, from what I understand, one, first time on the line, two, Ultimate Edition and three. Well, it's brand freaking new because check this out. We got box on box. We got a box inside a box, and then we got your mouse box that's waiting for me to come over tonight. But we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. Now let's find out what this box has got because we gotta do a little skitski and a little slitski on the side. We gotta do a little slitski on the top, and then we can unveil it. Let's do the drum rail. Three, two. One, Brrr, yeah, it says Mattel, thank you, I appreciate you guys for sending over, we got the influencer, let's get the staff babies out of the box, damn it, alright, here it is, we got one of two, actually we got two of two, we got the hot rod, rowdy, rowdy, piper, and we got your boy, George the Animal Steel, which in his own right, you guys, he it is a freaking beast. This guy would tear those turnbuckles, he would rip them up, and then they'd leave you hanging right there with a little side note, right? So if you want to read, go check it out. But at this point, what we got to do, you guys, is we got to get the Slitsky keep going, bro. You got a little Slitsky on the skeet ski right there. Now we can get this out of the box. This is a dually. This is like a two-in-box or two-in-one unboxing. And then that's what you get inside. Look at that, you guys. We got a true thing of beauty. All the characters right here up alongside that you're seeing, these are actually characters that help put these figures together. So one, shout out to my boy, Steve Hauser. Shout out to my boy, Bill McKenna, and all the greats. You guys already know, man. I don't got to be dropping them names. If you know who you are, obviously, you already know who you are. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching the video. Here's the hot rider, you guys. Look at this. We got him in the Coliseum collection. If you guys want to pick these up, they're going to go live next Friday. I'm going to put the link in the description. Go check it out. You guys are going to go, I think it's 9 a.m. So definitely go check this out because this is going to be unveiled right there for the general public. We got an early access. So again, Mattel, I appreciate it. Other figures on the line, we already checked out Jake the Snake Roberts. We checked out Rick Rude, Hulk Hogan, Terry Funk, and we got these two bazookas right there. We got a little description too. So definitely, if you want to know more about the Hot Rod, one, subscribe. Two, turn on that notification bell. And three, drop a like because we're going to get these out of the box right now. Looks like we got a little backdrop piece right there. So you can either have it vice versa, WWE logo or the Coliseum Collection backdrop turbuckle now this one right here you guys this is the first time in the line for george the animal seal and i believe it's also a first time in the line that we are seeing this torso we got to get it out of the box that's the only way that we're going to know this is really cool too the way that this packaging works out because you don't have to keep it like this all you got to do is do a little slit 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 let's go georgie what are you doing georgie again you know what i can't even do this right now we got to get these Nice laid out. We got to get them wet, and then we got to do it right now. Let's check it out, buddy. Yeah. Before we get into the figures, I do want to cover the accessories because, as we did mention, these little packs right here, that's actually what holds the accessories for both characters. For Hot Rod Rowdy Piper, we got the microphone. We got a total of three interchangeable head scans if you are including the one that's on the figure. You got two mic open two pointing, and two full-on open. You can also consider the shirt. We're going to go ahead and pull all that off, as well as the kilt. As far as George the Animal Steel, we'll get the actual shirt right here. It is fabric goods on both of these, and it is brought together by Velcro. Now, the turnbuckle that you normally do tear up and pull everything apart, that's actually already included, so you don't have to you know, completely destroy one of your existing turnbuckles. They already got you covered right there with the stuffy mix stuffs, and it is pretty easy to access it. You can see that inside right here. All you got to do is pull that out, and we're going to go ahead and put it on the figure so you guys can get a close look. You can't actually, like, clip it on, but still pretty damn neat feature. You will also get a stuffed plushie right there, total of three interchangeable scans. You got the screaming one. You got the one that's like, oh, Georgie, would you go? And then you got full-on open, mic open, and then this little stuffy, and it's all right, bro. This is pretty damn cool. 
I do believe that we have seen this on the second Legends release. I got some figure comparisons, too, that we are going to throw down in order to determine of whether or not these are going to be a pickup, a sleep, or an absolute must pre-order. So, Hot Rod, if you don't mind, let's take Here it we have in. Both bud. figures out of the packaging. And the packaging, I say, like, for these Mattel Creation figures, is what really makes this pack feel complete, man. It gives you this classic feel, this nostalgia point where you're right where you want to be. And the same look you make right there when Bill McKean is like, yeah! Brand new figures from Mattel Creations, man. I love this. Hot Rod Roddy Piper bringing something very special with his own little backdrop. Now, as far as George the Animal Steel, I want to go ahead and cover this line first, considering that we haven't seen him in this series. Neither have we seen with Hot Rod, but we are going to see him right here with the upcoming ringside exclusive. Got to keep the gloves, man. We got to keep these minty because these are collector gem pieces without a shadow of a doubt. Now, checking out the scan, I like the likeness. The true FX representation that we're seeing with these figures it's literally scaled 10 times a mil bro like yes they were doing something great in the earlier legends figures here's one of his earlier sets which i believe this is the very first legends figure this one right here it's based off a different time bro it's based off where george the animal steel was only a thought and then mattel rolled up here with all of this technology making these figures ultimate i really like the options that we're getting with this as well as that pinless double jointed Full butterfly articulation with it all. The hair, too. Not sure if you guys are picking that up, but it's actually covering the entire man from front, back, Side to side. George, he never let anybody slide, bro. Like, if you went into the ring, this guy was going to tear you up. And if he didn't, he was going to tear up that damn turnbuckle, which actually fits him right there perfectly, you guys. Check this out. So all you got to do is do a little stuffy mix stuff. You have him hold it, and then all you got to do is pull a little bit of this, uh, and I would say like three quarters of it. You can just go ahead and start squeezing it out, and then you can start eating it. It's like, yeah, this is my vitamin D for the day. Considering that we're in winter, we can't get that. That much sun now what we got to do you guys is check out those alternate scans right because this one was great i loved it but there is times where the guy i mean he's got his mouth closed yes nine out of ten times he's usually yelling and screaming just like whf but again you got different looks that you can play around this one is with the mouth closed and he is still slightly sticking out the tongue right there the eyes, I don't know. I feel like these ones are kind of slightly misprinted, at least on the right side. The, the whole surrounding of it, same bald scan on the back side. Let's check out that final one because I feel like that one might be leveling stuff up. And I feel like this one is almost identical from his very first release. No, take that back. The original one that was actually on the figure was more similar to the one that we're seeing right here in this Legends figure. Now, this one is getting more teeth action. I feel like this one is benefiting right there from the actual teeth coming through. Now, as far as this actual plushie, he does get some points of articulation. He can actually move his arms all the way around. You get a full 360 rotation on the shoulder piece. There is no actual way to pull it out or side to side. So as far as points, you're getting a total of about three. Now, he is also taking out his tongue. He also has the same bolt scan up top. And then he's got his little feet skis coming through skis, letting you know that he's coming all the way from China, right? Because that's where they come from, bro. They ain't coming from Cali. I'm sure they first end up in Cali, but at the end of the day, bro, this torso is going to do us so well. I can already think of several different characters. You can even do a Kevin Owens. You guys want to see any kind of custom fix-ups? Definitely lo let me know in the comments because I feel like this one in particular is going to suit this man right. Articulation 2, given that it is ultimate, you're getting all that swivel side to side. You're getting that full 360 because it is based off the different style right there for the piece. The older Ultimate Editions, you can rotate them completely. With these ones, you definitely can't. As far as the uh, drop-down hips, they are also part of this figure. For those that are not familiar with it or are just not fans of it, guess what? You're still getting it, and it is on ball hip joints. As far as the lower extremities, you're going to get a matching red outline on the right as well as on the left. And we got the solid red boots right there to bring this figure as a whole, bro. I love this. I really feel like George the Animal Steel was one of those missing characters in my Legends figure. So, fact that we got him right here, exclusive to Mattel Creations, bro. Let me know. Let me talk to you. Because right here, look at this Hot Rod Rowdy Piper. Have you ever seen anything 
so damn good. Because the way I'm seeing it, man, it's going to be tough to narrow down as far as which figure out of the two is the best out of the series. And yes, Georgie, and I can't call him Georgie, but for those that were wondering how the figure does look with the actual shirt on, it fits him pretty damn good, bro. I got to give this figure an 8, 9, anything less. I feel like I'd be doing the man wrong. On the backside, again, it does come through Velcro. And that is the same situation for Hot Rod Rowdy Piper. You're getting that same traditional Velcro, which they do hop around back and forth. So there is definitely a couple things that you got to take into account with that. The scan right here, you're going to get the smiling one, the alternating one that we are going to be able to swap out. Uh, these are all very similar in their own right from prior releases. Some are bringing a slight touch within the actual hair piece. When you do slap it on and you slap on the other one, you're going to see that smile and smirk might be the winner out of the three, bro. I don't know, though. I got to feel like these ones are definitely a little bit harder to put on. Give me your thoughts. So do you guys like the first one, the second one? And I'll go ahead and put the third one on. I just want to show you the hair piece right here, how it's kind of carrying through the same style for all three. You know what would have been cool? Future reference. I'm just going to throw this out there. If this man ever gets put into like the regular line, I'm not talking about the upcoming ringside. I'm talking about like give this man three different era scans for his UEs. I mean, after all, that's the benefit about doing some of these ultimates. You can display it in your new generation, in your golden. I mean, you can definitely play around with different scenarios. This one right here in particular, you guys, this one's got to be my favorite. I feel like this one is bringing probably the most, the best likeness and definitely one up from what we've seen in the past. Here's one of his very first elites bro this is actually based off the entrance grates at least the gear that you're seeing on it the rest did come off as regular legends figure these shirts right here i feel like that's probably what it's missing and i know this is based off a different time but i was a huge fan of the little touchy touchy on the necky necky and the bicep with that little red outline it's just a personal preference now the mic here it is. We got the old style, which we've seen it in different representations. I know that the Build-A-Figure Vince McMahon did bring a very similar style of mic. So if you guys are curious, like, bro, let me check that out. So, yes, you got the logo right there, front and center. And on this one, they never did this mic wrong. I mean, you think about some of the old mics that they released in the past. They usually only did the logo on two parts of it. So it's really cool to see as far as what they brought. Now, the kill right here. We got a little mix of the red, green. This is very actually Christmas you guys. I feel like this is the best time to pre-order this figure, bro. Drop it around Christmas. Celebrate the New Year's. Celebrate Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, and the Rowdy Rowdy Piper because he is here now right here for the very first time in Ultimate, which is crazy, bro. We're going to get him in two different styles, right? We're going to get him in the upcoming, what was it? Yes, the ringside exclusive with the actual Nitro ring. And then two, we got the belt. Whoa, this is cool, you guys. Never seen Mattel bring in this style of belt. I do believe that you undo it right here. Very similar as you would do your own traditional belt. You do it through the front. Oh, that is fancy. I like it. I love it. And I love Roddy Roddy Piper with his kilt off. Look at that, you guys. I know people were busting my nuts. The uh, What is it? I think it was on the Drew McIntyre's like, Hero Fix. That is not a skirt, and I know it's not, man. We just got to play around with you guys. We got to get you guys riled up. We got to rile up your feathers if you want to find out if Hot Rod is going to be bringing heat with this figure. I think he is, bro. I like the style of torso. I mean, they could have easily gone with that Stone Cold, which traditionally, that's what they have done for this style of character. So, fact that we got it right here with some different looks, heck yeah, bro. And you're getting all that beautiful articulation. Getting the butterfly joints, that double pinless, all those interchanging hands yes the drop down hips y'all hate but i'm gonna tell you bro if you're trying to really mess around and do some serious poses with your figures that double hip style of joint bro that is a true gem i used to hate those honeycombs and i know i'm getting sidetracked because i know we were talking about the drop down hips which you kind of have to play around with them in order for them to sit appropriate back end solid blue knee pads solid blue the man he didn't give a damn so he wore his socks sticking out his boots wearing his rick flair logo hero fix that's rowdy piper i know it's rp man again we gotta mess around with you bro we're getting a little bit of mix right there with the red mixing in with the white soles right there and them beautiful white laces give me your thoughts though i gotta give this figure a 9-1 bro i genuinely can't wait for that ringside exclusive but this one right here at least for my new generation golden era it's definitely gonna do i appreciate you guys for stopping by hit the subscribe button drop a like and you must suck us What's that?